Talk Sport Clips of the Week. Yes, yeah, Clips of the Week time then, and uh, Andy, uh, you want to kick us off? Yes, I will. Go I on, then. we start with the moose with football news. Ibrahimovic's agent has refused to confirm the Swede will sign that contract extension at Old Trafford. Mino, Mino, Mino Raiola spoke earlier to this programme. He's also Romelu Lukaku, Lukaku's agent. Mino speak English more like, yeah. <laughs> You're probably right there, uh, yeah. Well, anyway, it was just an isolated incident, I'm sure. <laughs> Let's uh, necessarily go on with the next story. Deli Ali's tackle on the game midfielder Brecht <clears throat> de Jere is a potentially career-ending challenge. Is that like potentially career-ending bulletin? <laughs> it does really, doesn't it? So close. So I wonder what uh, I wonder what Mike Parry's so been up to way. this week. I've been tempted in the last few years to change my name to Horatio Nelson. Fair enough. Yes, yeah, so that's a pretty normal week <laughs> yeah. uh, for Mike. Does that mean then that Mike uh, Parry, sorry, not Mike, Mike Parry, Graham, Mike Graham has to change yeah. his name to Horatio as well, so they can be the two Horatios. <laughs> of course they do. Uh, I'm Mike Graham. Uh, yeah, sorry, he's, I, I, I'm getting it wrong there. <laughs> I'm Horatio Graham. He's uh, Horatio Parry. We are the two Horatio. Um, here's Clive Allen uh, watching Seville versus Leicester. This season going behind has cost them dear in many games. And you just wonder, that penalty save has just given the, them the impotence. Well, that's a bit unfortunate, isn't <laughs> Very it? Really? unfortunate, really. Poor lads, yeah. <laughs> and this is Dean Saunders on breakfast. And he knows how to tease the next topic. Don't go anywhere. As we discuss who could kill... Pep Guardiola with a former Man City defender. <laughs> what, like you hit him with a former Man City defender? <laughs> drop Which him one? Height. Yeah, drop him onto him. <laughs> yeah, that's well. That, well, I'd certainly keep listening to hear that. Mm. Um, now, uh, you may remember Ray Parler saying this. He knows exactly uh, the fighting position for places. And this. He stayed at the club. He's in a far older way. Well, um, Ray Parler, it's happened and again. again. I heard you earlier on the radio saying that we're not really good, don't really need him now, but you are fighting on a lot of fronts. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> is it? Is, is it sort of just Ray can't say, or is he doing it for a bet? Um, <laughs> his, his album of um, Saturday Nights All Right for Fighting was a bit of a disaster, <laughs> if I seem to remember, when he brought that one out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So what's next, Andy? It's back to the two Horatios, and Mike Parry gets a deal. Mm. I didn't realise the deal is you mm. get the free pint of beer when you order your fish and chips. Yeah. I then ordered a pint of Pinot Grigio. Oh, yeah. A pint of... <laughs> <laughs> Sam Allardyce. Who drinks Pint of wine. Yeah, ridiculous. Brilliant. Well done to Mike. So, um, let's uh, get the highlight from this week's Fisherman's Blues now. Talking of the weather, I saw a great message from um, Kev Hewitt, who said... Um, let me just see if I can find it now. He said... Oh, no, I can't find it. Oh, terrific. Yeah, thanks <laughs> well, very much for great. that. <laughs> I'll tune in next week to see if you found it. Yeah, let's hope so, yeah. And now it's time for Sean Custis in Press Pass, the opera. So, Sutton keeper Wayne Shaw ate a pie against Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautifully sung, that, wasn't it? Well. I can't wait to hear the, old, the uh, whole opera. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is uh, Tanya Snugs, you've been hearing on Talk Sport today, setting a quiz on the weekend sports breakfast. One of your old clubs, Ipswich, make the short trip to, uh, Caro. can't read this, Pierce, uh, Pierce Old Farms, Rivals, Fierce Old Farm Fivals. Pardon? <laughs> what? Pierce Old Farm Fivals? <laughs> yeah, that's the one, yeah. That's, that, that's, a bit, uh, that's a bit East Anglian, that. I didn't understand a word of <laughs> that. Here's the Talk Sport Corner of the Week to Jim White and Dean Ashton. Dean Ashton, he was pants as a striker. Um, and, oh, um, thanks. Oh, that was very <laughs> kind of you, Andy. <laughs> Sport Caller of the Week. He's available for Panto, obviously. <laughs> that fella. Isn't he? Yeah, if you're looking for a villain. And uh, our rugby league correspondent, Mark Wilson, who you heard from earlier on, should be worried because it sounds like Mike Parry's after his job. From 8 o'clock, it's the Warrington Wolves versus Brisbane Boncos. Nice. <laughs> Boncos. That'd have been a scandal in <laughs> Australian <laughs> rugby league, wouldn't it? <laughs> Only Parry. Yeah. This is Graham Courtney at Newcastle versus Villa. Newcastle 2, Aston Villa 0. Newcastle are going to go back on top of the pile in the championship table. Corner swept in by John Joe O'Shelby. <laughs> Hello. Oh, well, he went very high. <laughs> Who's John Joe O'Shelby? <laughs> no, no idea. make it a bit more Irish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, Bart Simpson got back in touch with uh, Fisherman's Blues this week. But I've just got a text coming now that you can answer mm -hmm. for me. It says, yeah. ah, it's from Mike and Annette Curtin. Annette Curtin. <laughs> Annette Curtin. You read them all out. <laughs> I'm just waiting for that one where he says, um, 
<laughs> see more clearly. With yeah, us. It's uh, right. great. He's been asking me about uh, glasses <laughs> as a fisherman. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's right for it, I'm afraid. But grow up, the lot of you. And finally, yes, it's the two mics and confusion reigns. One of the newspapers this morning is on a huge feature on the East India Company and the congr congratulatory tweet say, Mike, we heard that first from you a couple of weeks ago. Why you know are you really, always ahead of the game? Do you know what's really eerie? I don't yeah. know whether you've seen in the mirror today. Yeah, They've got yeah. a great big spread on the uh, East India Company. And I've, just how... I've just told you that. Huh? Are you going, are you, are you mad? I've just told you that. You've just told me what? That there is a huge spread on the East India Company yes. today. Yes. Yes, I've just told you that. No, I told you, Did and you've you? just repeated it okay. to me. Yeah, right. So you're not listening. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone was listening <laughs> after all that. <laughs> the, the two Count Arthur Strongs there. <laughs> it's amazing. There we are. So there's your clips of the week. Richard France, Mervyn, Hoy Hoy, apparently. <laughs> Paul Alderson, Mark Wood, Moz C, Trevor Watts, Sean Donnell, George Murray, Roger in the Leeward Islands, Nelly... <laughs> Parry, <laughs> John Rimmer, uh, Dan Morris, Alan Collins, Arnold Anderson, I like him. Pete Bradley, David Langlands, Styles, Nick P, Crispy from Saltford, Tooty Toots, Rich in Port Talbot, and Carwin Pipe. Um, <laughs> yes. They all suggested Carwin Pipe. And none of them are real people. They all suggested <laughs> clips that were played this week. They, they, that's, what they, that's what they claim their names are. <laughs> So, if you hear a clip on TalkSport over the next seven days, please send it in to us, talksport.com forward slash H&J, text to 81089, or you can tweet to uh, TSH&J, give us a day and a time when you heard it, and uh, you will always get the credit, like those guys uh, did, if it's played. And we've got a classic clip for you, and the new uh, Champions Bundle will give away, thanks to Pizza Out Delivery. If you want to get your hands on the Ultimate Night in with two pizzas, garlic bread, or wedges... And a one and a half litre drink. Take a listen to this. It's a classic from one of our old overnight shows. Have a listen, and the question will follow. Eric in commentary says, Mr. Graham, let the Greeks suffer. A few years ago, I bought some expensive sunglasses from a shop in Crete. They broke. As soon as I left the shop, I complained, but all I got was thrown out of the shop by three assistants. However, on my last night, I superglued the locks on the shop door and had a poo in the doorway. Quality. Well, that's nice, Eric. I'm sure they'll be delighted to have you back. <laughs>